Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Past Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy, today on Amazon. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So not too long ago, a man by the name of Wayne Walker took to his Facebook account and asked a question about basketball coach Sidney Carter and asked, was her outfit inappropriate? Now, as you can see here, she has on a turtleneck all the way up to her neck and some pink leather pants with some stilettos on holding a clipboard. Looks like she's doing her job. And so he wanted to know if it was inappropriate. And so a lot of people got on his bumpers like, why are you worried about what she's wearing? You know, she's fully dressed, she's fully clothed. Why are you making this an issue? And so a lot of other people pointed out, well, there's a lot of other uh, female basketball coaches who wear stilettos. And here you can see Coach Malky. She pretty much has the same thing on that uh, Sydney was, uh, I guess, scrutinized for. And so it's like, what's the difference, man? And that was a black man making that comment about a black woman. But my thing is this, I mean, black women, listen, we got what we got, okay? We got, you know, nice figures and curves and all of that. And I mean, even if we were to wear a burlap sack, you were still gonna see it, right? To some degree. And so I don't see anything wrong with how she dresses. I mean, in all fairness, sometimes she does wear suits. Sometimes she wears a little black dress, which I really love. I think it's cute, the red lipstick and all of that. But I just think, you know, we, and I know it's not a lot of people, it's, it's a few people, but you know what was also surprising? There was a, a few black women who were questioning whether it was re, uh, appropriate and, you know, she wants to be respected. She shouldn't wear that. And listen, I don't think um, what a woman has on should dictate how another person treats them. I always say this, if a woman is walking down the street butt naked, um, you know, in the broad daylight, that should not make a person act a certain type of way around her. You should still be civil and maybe mind your business. I'm not saying it's appropriate for her to do that, but if she wearing something or not wearing something shouldn't make a person respect them or disrespect them, if that makes any sense. But anyway, so I'm like, well, should she dress like a man wearing a man suit? How you doing, Mayor Lightfoot? No, you know, I'm, I'm just asking questions. And so I don't have a problem with it. I think she's gorgeous. I think she should continue to do her. And to me, that is the real definition of black girl magic. And, you know, continue to make them talk. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.